good morning YouTube and welcome to officially I guess this is day three technically it's day three but it feels like day two um, it's like day one yeah well it's, it's like actually, just starting out yeah. what have you been up to I've been riding on a day three Mike from Wandering Wagners asked a really good question uh, and it was how many miles I did um, so other than of course the four hour nap we had uh, a couple of delays one of them was an accident that shut down I-77 South completely it was completely shut down and we sat in that traffic for probably 30 minutes and then we finally got up to an off ramp and decided to go a detour so we took a detour I don't know how many miles that was but uh, I did roughly 790 miles with the detour it's probably 800 miles uh, on our first real two-day I guess extravaganza like I said it's kind of hard to say because other than that four-hour nap I just drove so it's about 800 miles let's give you more details about where we're at where we're at um, the place is called Cat Head Creek Ranch RV Park so Cat Head RV or Cathead Ranch RV Park. God, it's hard to say. You can see off in the distance here, this is all ranch over here. There's horses out in that area. I don't know if you can see the horses in between the RVs there, but there's a couple of horses there. Heidi's going to go get pictures. Uh, she's getting pictures of the wildlife. I don't know if you can see that bird that's down in the water getting its bugs for the morning. But then over here is a big, huge pond. And then over here, of course, is all ranch land behind us, too. And you can see there's a lot of permanent campers in the area. Um, but there are some overnighters, like this guy that's directly across from us. He came in last night. Uh, all this, though, for the most part, is permanent campers, or seasonal campers, I should say. Well, one nice thing that I found out about the RV is that magical water leak that I had that made the water pump run. Um, was actually uh, a valve for the toilet and it's the valve that controls the water coming into the toilet and the way we found out was uh, when we stopped for our little four hour nap um, when we were leaving we made sure that the toilet bowl was empty and we accidentally left our water pump on and we went on to uh, well we drove down the road we stopped we got breakfast and then we came back out after breakfast again with the water pump on the entire time and uh, we took uh, our little one hour nap and just prior to us taking our little one hour nap Heidi said I can't believe you drove around with the toilet bowl full and I said no I said I make sure it's empty and she said well it's not she said it's full it's up to the level and here that's where it was it just allows a little bit of water to run all the time so we could either fix the valve or just replace the toilet or whatever, I'm not even sure. But that's all. Get on the road and see what we run into today. here we are we found a place for a temporary park spot um, it's Anastasia State Park in St. Augustine it's real close to the beach and unfortunately they don't have any sites right now but we said is there any way that we can park or actually he volunteered we asked if there was any place we could park an RV just so we could go explore St. Augustine and he said well you want to camp here right and I said yeah and he said well there's a chance that there might be sites available later so if you want to he says you can drop your RV here and uh, go explore St. Augustine and he says and then you know just come back later and if there's no sites then there's no sites but that'll allow us to drive around this truck without worrying about 
trying to find a place to get us and the RV in. Um, so we're in RV parking at the beach. Let me see if I can show you here. And of course, what it's it doing? Rain. <laughs> it's raining, and I mean it's raining a lot. It's been raining uh, all, all the way here, all day. Um, when we left the campground in uh, Georgia, that uh, lasted very shortly until it turned into rain. We only probably got 15 miles down the road and then the rain started and it hasn't stopped. So anyways, um, I've already had to change my clothes once. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi had to get a jacket because um, it definitely it cooled off a little bit here. I still I think it's comfortable. It's it's nice and humid because of all the rain, but um, it's definitely not like Florida weather. Looks like somebody else is coming behind us. The park. Let me show you outside real quick. There's our RV, and we dropped it off. I haven't unhooked complete. Oh, it's unhooked, but I haven't pulled away. It looks like somebody else is pulling in there. And then there's another one in front of us, and that guy said just pull behind him and, and drop. Uh, that guy's got a park, uh, a camping spot later. He's waiting for the people to leave. But you can see out here, um, there's some sort of a beach house down here, snack bar. I don't know what that is. Uh, some sort of store. And then there's the boardwalk going over that sandy berm out to the beach, which if we can get a spot here, we'll show you. But we're basically going to go try to find something to eat. How's that sound to you? And we're going to try to plan this day a little bit better because uh, right now we're just kind of running blindly with no plans which uh, so far is not so bad um, but we like to get something to eat now so we'll uh, take you along and find out what we find out but Anastasia State Park so far that guy is really nice that was very kind of him to just let us drop here um, and he said hey if I forget whenever you come back through just remind me hey you dropped your trailer and you're just here to pick up or get a site one or the other <laughs> so let's go well as you guys can see it's still raining it's still coming down uh we did get something neat this is the world famous oasis restaurant bar or bar yeah heidi says bar it was good uh the they were packed the parking is tight uh heidi had to get out and get me in this spot that i'm at now there's a lot more spaces but they had a serious serious parking issue here where everybody was just driving around this little tight area trying to find a place to park they told us as soon as we got in which was really nice uh she said hey it's going to be a 20 minute wait uh you can sit at the bar upstairs which is a drinking bar or you could sit at the bar downstairs which you can also order drinks but it's an eating bar and uh, it'd probably be out 20 minutes and that all the raw bar stuff was available as far as um, chips and salsa, oysters, uh, shrimp, that kind of stuff. You could get that right away, which we did. We got it kind of as an appetizer. But uh, they were busy. They were extremely busy in there. So now we're going to try to find some sort of indoor activities something which I mean that sucks but you know it is a different area at least Michael says it rains in Florida all the time and then it stops and then the sun shines guess what he's lying she's mistaking daily evening storms for a cold front coming through because this is a cold front that came through we're kind of gonna go try to find something to do now but at least we don't have the RV that's the best part Right now it's just staying dry and that we're not doing a very good job of it. Neither is anybody else in this area. Here's the deal. Um, we went to the uh, outlet as you saw there. We left out of there because we couldn't find uh, a camp spot. There's uh, nothing available this evening that's local. Uh, we were hoping for the state park to come through for us, but not to happen. No big deal. Um, we're going to drive about 45 miles and go down towards Daytona at this point and uh, There is a spot down there and from what I can tell it's on the beach. We'll have to see I don't know how well it's going to do or be or anything else, but figure it's worth the drive um, As far as why we're sitting in this parking lot. We had to get uh, some food We didn't buy, we haven't bought any food Heidi had to pull some stuff out of the cabinets that I don't know were they in there for a while <laughs> that's what we had last night is very good but yeah we have canned goods in there but we didn't have any any food any meats or anything like that so anyways we're getting ready to head back to the park 
uh, Anastasia State Park, which is really nice from what I can tell. We're going to hook up the RV and uh, we're going to haul butt out of there and uh, head, uh, like I say, about 45 miles south of here and uh, stop there. Now, I just reserved one spot for one night and they said that they, uh, that spot, if I didn't want to move, um, I could stay another night. So let's go. So we're down in St. Augustine. We're going back to the park, like I mentioned, and here's just some of the old buildings that are around. You can see those everywhere. This reminds me of uh, the last time we were here, which was in the 90s. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a nice historical old area. That's for sure. I mean, Florida, like every place, has historical cities. This one is old, though. <laughs> There's a lot of old stuff here. There's the center of town. Turn left at the traffic light, then turn right. Turn right on Bridge of Lions. Thought I'd shoot some video why Michael's hooking the camper back up so we can go to Ormond Beach. This is St. Augustine. Shoes are squeaky. See the caution flag out. Looks pretty rough out there. Would have been really nice to stay here for a couple days, check, hang out on the beach. Really nice on a hot summer day. Basking in the sun. Waves are pretty big. Definitely not a place for shelling though. A few here and there. But overall very pretty. Oh, 
there's some shelves down through here. This will be a very, very nice place to stay. Stay at the Anastasian State Park and to come here to the beach. Looks like it's not, oh, it wouldn't be overly crowded. And you can see for a long ways, but it's kind of quiet before you'd actually get anybody. like maybe the storm's rolling in here. So I think I'm gonna go. Well, it looks like Michael's all hooked up and ready to go, so guess I better hurry back. Catch you later. All right guys, so we made it to Ormond Beach. We're all set up. Here's our site and uh, the truck's right here, but we've got parking that we can move to. We're just trying to decide if we're gonna stay here uh, tomorrow too. Again, that's an option, but you can see the beach out in the background and we have direct access to it. So we're gonna go down and check out the beach and then kind of try to make a decision if we're gonna stay here for uh, another night uh, other than tonight. Um, the power's good, the water hookups, the, the water's good. It's just water hookups a little goofy. Yeah, everything so far is pretty good. It's again full hookup with sewer. So yeah, we'll go. Uh, we'll go check out the beach and we'll try to make a decision and let you guys know. Yeah. And there's something called the common area. That's kind of cool. And we'll walk down the steps and out on the beach and show you that, so we're not disturbing these people. Well, here we go, walking down through the sand. Holy cow, there ain't nobody out here, really. And this is a large beach. This is probably bigger than the Myrtle, the last time we stayed at Myrtle Beach. This is more beach yeah. than they've got as far as from the land to the ocean. But yeah, you can see as far as the eye can see both directions. Of course, I didn't bring my phone, so I didn't take, can't take any pictures down here. Heidi brought her phone, not, so she can't take any pictures down here. Yeah, this is pretty nice down here. I'm not going to walk all the way down to the water because my shoes will get all packed in. Yeah, I like this. So, you cannot have any lights on down here, so Heidi says. And the reason is, they gave us a little flashlight. It has some sort of red light on it, and it's for all the turtles that are down here. I thought they would have them marked off. She said there was a couple. Yeah. They've already sighted uh, or seen a couple, and they have to report them. So they check them, make sure they're healthy and everything. Oh. That's kind of Not to touch them. So remember that. Don't touch. Heidi was looking for a big sea turtle. She wanted to ride it. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty nice out here. I think uh, I think I like it. Uh, you got to figure it's Sunday. I'm assuming everybody's going back to work. Uh, this will be their last day. Or maybe not. Maybe this is their first day. <laughs> Alright, so we saw the beach. And uh, now we gotta check the weather. We gotta go check the weather and see what that's like, and we'll make a decision. All right, so you can see I could park here and leave the truck here, but it takes away from the site overall. Um, and quite honestly, they give you a parking pass, and you can go park over in their parking area because it's also cabin rentals. They have laundry here, they have a pool here, it's all accessible for anybody that camps here. As far as this place behind us, Heidi seems to think it's bathrooms, which I tend to agree. They give you a code. Here, let's turn the knob to the right. Yeah, they give you a code, honey. 
this one's open, so I can go inside. What's the code? I don't remember what to oh. see something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Somebody's blocked this open. This is the women's bathroom. Pretty clean. So here's a bunch of motor coaches you can see. Look like they've been here for a little while. And then of course what they consider beachfront, but our site wasn't too bad. I think it was $70 um, with our good Sam discount, which they asked. I didn't even know it was a good Sam location. Now it is a little noisy because we have this fan going on here, but quite honestly, we're also right next to A1A. And again, because we live so close to the highway, this isn't going to bother us at all. There's access through that area there to get to the uh, pool and the office and the laundry. And then, of course, you can come out here and walk the sidewalk over there too. Yeah, you can see how close we are to the road and how busy it is out here. nice though nice yeah there, there's some things that we can walk to down there we already looked at again we'll make our decision and uh, if we go anywhere special tonight which I doubt um, we'll bring you along but we'll see what happens one of the things that we gotta be concerned with is that there's only two bars of our T-Mobile here so most likely I'd have to set up the Wii Boost and I'd have to put up the antenna. Um, again, if we're not going to stay here more than just tonight, then I'm not going to put up that antenna and that means uh, no videos <laughs> still. Um, we're definitely falling behind and I apologize for that, but you know, we knew that we were going to get caught up in something like this. We wanted to try to do it as best as we possibly could, um, just as if we were at this point full time. And I think that we might have a better routine. You know, it's 6.30, it's still daylight out, and we can sit down and relax and uh, enjoy ourselves to some extent. So that, that's a, a nice change from that running around. We were gonna boondock tonight uh, because it rained so much. It's been nice and cool down here. Uh, if we did boondock, we could just open windows and, and deal with it. Heidi's yawning over there, so I think it's time for me to stop recording. All right, we'll, we'll see what happens, guys. This is gonna be the end of day number whatever, because <laughs> I still don't know how I'm gonna put these together for editing. Uh, however, I will say that uh, after a very brief discussion, Heidi and I decided that we're gonna stay here another day, uh, explore the area a little bit more, uh, spend a day relaxing, um, you know, we've been driving, of course, every day, and I don't have a problem with driving, and I don't have a problem with driving for hours and hours on end, uh, but I do have a problem that I'm not getting my videos up fast enough, and uh, they're all on the action cam. As we speak right now, all my videos are on this action cam, so uh, we have decent T-Mobile uh, high speed here, so if I think that I might be able to get something edited and uploaded, I will. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. Uh, we just did a live video down on the beach. I don't know how well that turned out. I'm going to check that out online right now and see, uh, you know, leave it up and see uh, if it answers a lot of the questions. Again, we'll continue to update Facebook as, you know, best as possible. Uh, but we, uh, we think that we're going to uh, try to get some of these videos up. And that's going to require me to sit down and do a lot of editing. Um, right now it is 9.30 at night. And I think that I should be able to get a few hours in. And uh, probably condense that down a little bit more than I normally would. To get some of these days up or at least started. But just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we're, we're trying to do everything we can for you. <laughs> and we're not forgetting about you. And of course uh, you'll be seeing these at a staggered rate. Uh, than what they're actually happening but right now we're we're enjoying ourselves and uh, again tomorrow's supposed to be nice it's supposed to be about six to seven degrees warmer than it was today 
and uh, the girl at the desk said that actually the sun's supposed to come out quite a bit more. So, right now, that's it. And as always, we hope to see you out here. Thanks, guys.